Hey there guys, it's Phone Tech Kid, and today we're taking a look at the badass gravitation ROM for your Galaxy S4. So first off, let me start off by saying this is called the gravitation ROM, not the badass gravitation ROM. It is TouchWiz, so first TouchWiz ROM I have reviewed in a while for the S4, and I've been impressed. So this is based off the UAMDL firmware. And this is version 1.2 of the ROM. Of course, this is running the latest Android 4.2.2 TouchWiz version. And it's been quick, definitely quicker than stock TouchWiz. Definitely less lag. It's been a lot of a better experience for me. And just scrolling through stuff like apps and the launcher itself, you could definitely tell. So... One big thing about this ROM is that it removed all the AT&T bloatware. So yes, this is based off AT&T, but it also does work on T-Mobile and international models. So that's a big thing for AT&T users as there's a lot of AT&T bloatware, but now it's all gone. So this ROM is heavily themed blue. You'll notice a blue theme throughout the whole TouchWiz interface. As you can see, when you open up apps like phone, messaging, and even camera, they're all themed blue. And that could be a love or hate thing. He really wanted to focus on making this more AOSP style. So as you can see, even the settings are themed more like AOSP Android, which for me, I kind of like that. I, I don't really like the green touch whiz that we're used to seeing, as this makes it a little bit more different and serious. Even the settings app is themed AOSP style. So if we go into settings, you get a bunch of different custom settings that you could go through. So if we enter it, here we have a bunch of different stuff. At the top, we have our battery settings. So here we could do stuff like change the circle color if you choose a circle battery. And they give you a whole bar to choose colors from. You get a lot of options for choosing the battery style that you want. And right here, I chose the skull one. As you can see, it does look like a skull. And that's just one of the many battery choices you do get. So, of course, if anything goes wrong, you could still reset the circle colors, as sometimes I did mess up on those. Next, we have our battery bar. So, this is from MIUI. As you can see, it's at the top, and basically, it's a bar that shows you how much battery percentage you have left. That is also customizable, and you could do stuff like change colors. Under that, we have clock. Clock is also highly customizable in this ROM, and in a lot of TouchWiz ROMs. Here, I'm going to change it to the red color. That's not the main color I'm going to use, that's just an example. As you can see, it changes with no problem, and we can always change it to a different color. And that's the great thing about having so many different color options. Of course, we could also ch change the position. We could add AM, PM, and we could also take away or add day of the week. And, of course, you do get to choose if you want it small or big. So this is where we get into more AOSP controls also. You can add an AOSP lock screen. And we do also get some more music control options, which is always awesome to have. So here, as you can see, it is the Cyan Engine Mod AOSP lock screen because you do get some extra options like camera and messaging. So when we go down, we get some more stuff like keyboard icon enable. We could use the menu button to kill apps. We could change the notification drawer color and also the status bar color. So definitely a lot of customization options there. So, so another bonus to this ROM is that you do get Aroma Installer. So this is for AT&T. If you use this method and you flash through Aroma Installer on T-Mobile and International ROM, then what you want to do is after you've went through this method and flashed the ROM, you want to also go and flash a T-Mobile kernel or a i9505 kernel. So... I'll have links down below for the ROM and then just find kernels for your devices. So as you can see, you get a bunch of different options in Aroma Installer, like choosing different apps that you want, the themes that you want. Also, you could choose between launchers, and that's pretty much it. After that, you're just going to install it, and it shouldn't take too long. It took me a couple of minutes to install, so just let it sit for a little. As I said, if you are on T-Mobile or you have an international S4, then make sure to flash one of your kernels, okay? Big important, otherwise you will not boot. So at the end, I was pretty impressed with this ROM, as I said. It's fast, 
it's nicely themed and you also get a bunch of customization options that come in handy later on so there were some bugs and the first one I noticed was lock screen you cannot enable the pattern and it even says that in the thread as one of the known issues if you do enable the pattern then so bad stuff will happen I did not try it because I do not want bad stuff to happen but I'm just warning you to not try that also I did notice that one of the apps Attaway Plus was not working either so make sure to stay away from that I guess because that will not be able to open multi view is also theme blue and it is working just to let you know and it is fast and normal as usual also the camera should be working fine so then you can tell it is also themed nicely blue and it takes its normal good picture shots all the settings are still there and they are also themed blue as i said so guys hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe for